Hey, what's up guys? Professor here. Today we're going to be going over something uh, real quick. Just uh, I get a lot of questions on this on my MPK tutorials and MPK videos. People are always asking how to get this knob to do anything. Um, it's not too hard. Uh, it's kind of just like assigning something to one of these knobs. I'll show you real quick just an example. Um, probably the most useful application for something like this is an X and Y filter, but let's use it as a pitch bend and a tempo control or something like that. So let's go into the screen. All right, guys. So uh, I pulled up a sound generator, 3 OSX. Cool. Now uh, let's attach this to our master pitch. All right. I'm going to right click this. And I'm going to click link to controller and I'm going to move this up. Ready? Now you'll see my master pitch is cool. Uh, you can be even more specific with this. Let's because that's going to pitch everything in the studio. Let's replace this with something like serum. Okay that has a pitch affecting just within the synthesizer, all right? So we're here at Serum. Let's get a way less annoying sound. That's not less annoying. Good, and it has an after. So let's go find where the pitch is for this. It's right here. This is the pitch bend. See? Ready? Sweet. So you can just right click it, not right click it, go to um, up here, multi link to controllers, and click uh, move this, click this, move this again, and then. Now, my up and down is linked to my serum pitch bend. And if you want to, you know, of course you can uh, move this and then highlight this and then move this again and then move this side to side, left to right. Boom. So now. I have different effects. Let's link this one instead to the to the right side, all right? To the right and left. So it's super duper easy to get that thing to work, all right? Uh, if for some reason it's not working for you, even after you followed these steps, close FL Studios, go to your MPK editing software. Open up your MPK editing software. Let me get my program. And uh, you can just set your uh, things here, right and left, to um, different values in numbers. Though I believe the one that I have is. I think this is my setup and I believe I just have this on pitch bend uh, y-axis CC one and I guess I have an up and down value of one which allows me to do that in FL studios um, this is my setup oh yeah that's fun yeah that's it just make just double check that stuff right there um so that was today's short answer to a question I get a lot. Uh, if this hasn't helped, just leave a question down below. Hopefully we can help out, figure something out. And uh, leave any more questions you have for me down below. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe if this helped out. Thanks for, thanks for dropping by and watching the video, guys. Um, you know I love you. Take it easy. Check out the links and all that good stuff, all right? Maybe next I'll do a video on what headset I use and why I love it.